This video is a part of a series on how to develop an embedded coder target for a hardware platform based on ARM Cortex-A processor. As you know, we are using the ARM Cortex-A reference target and the target SDK to build an embedded coder target for Beagabone Black. So far, we've covered an introduction. We've created a target framework and registered this target. And in the rest of the tutorials, we are going to focus on adding features to the target that we, we just registered. So the first feature we will add is the application deployment feature. By the end of this tutorial, you will be able to generate an executable file from a Simulink model. So let's get started. For any feature you want to add to the target, there are typical steps to follow. First, we add the feature, then we set the properties for the feature, map the feature uh, to the hardware, and then save the target, and finally, test the particular feature that we just added. So here, we will add a new deployer called my new deployer. Let's execute these commands and take a look at the target object. As you can see, the my new deployer uh, as a feature was added, but it's not yet enabled for a particular hardware, which is my Beagabone Black. Next, we will set three properties of the deployer. First is the tool chain, then next is the build configuration, and then the third one is the loader. In this example, we are using the Linaro 4.8 version tool chain. This was downloaded along with the ARM Cortex-A support package. We also set up the build configuration, which includes setting compiler paths and register necessary tokens and whatnot. So let's execute these commands to complete the build configuration and the toolchain. This completes the toolchain configuration for Linaro. If you have a toolchain that's different than Linaro, it takes a bit of extra work to integrate a new tool chain, and we are not covering that integration as a part of this tutorial. But once you have registered a new tool chain, the rest of the workflow is exactly the same as shown in this tutorial. Let's configure um, some loader commands before we map this feature to the hardware. So now that the properties are set, let's map the feature to the hardware and take a look at the target. Now, if you see the difference in the target object, not only did we add a new deployer, my new deployer, it's also enabled for this particular hardware, which is my Beagabone Black. And this enablement is denoted by this one instead of the zero. Let's save the target with these changes. And finally, test it for the deployment feature. Here, we are testing the compiling and linking capabilities using the selected toolchain, which is Linaro in this case, for multiple build configurations. Let's see if the test passed. Looks like the test has passed. Now let's check this in a Simulink model. This is our model. Now let's open the configuration parameters and make sure we have all the settings uh, done correctly. Under code generation, make sure this is set to ERT and the toolchain is selected as Linaro, which is great. And then we build the target to see if we can get an executable file as mentioned in the beginning of the tutorial. And as you can see, example3.elf has been created here, so we can now generate an executable file out of a Simulink model. Thank you.